Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm very happy to have this uh, to share acoustic. And uh, today, my topic is the acoustic design of civil building. <coughs> Uh, first, introduce myself. I'm come from uh, China, Shang, Shanghai. My, uh, I graduated from Chongqing University. Uh, the master major uh, architecture acoustic. At the same time, I'm also a well AP. Uh, after graduating, I can have some national standard and invention paint and have some acoustic design project experience. Today, there are five sections. Office, education, uh, health care, sustainable, and acoustic service. And let's begin the first section, office. Uh, first of all, let's look at the picture. This is the owner's code from USGPC. We can see that for owners, salary and welfare as the most than others, far beyond the energy and the rain cost. So, in other words, if the office building makes employees more comfortable and improve the productivity of employees, it is the most cost effective investment for owners. So, if there are two, uh, one building has the own the lead and well uh, satisfaction, and uh, this building can make the Employees more comfortable and uh, effective, and uh, another building have, have no. So many owners willing to choose the first one, and they will pay more money for this one. So this is why lead and the well satisfaction more comfortable and uh, more popular. And our office space has changed from a space that provide basic office equipment to a space that inspire employees' productivity. And the current office design has an uh, obvious change, which is open design. This is the headquarter of Unilever, the largest open office space at that time. At least 17% of office space in the United States has chosen open space design. At the same time, it's become more and more popular in many cities in China. And uh, Facebook news headquarters also adopt uh, open design. The large space without barriers and the meeting room uh, with glass, glass wall. And this open office features blur the classification of workspace, change the serious atmosphere of the office, and makes the employees more harmonious. So, more and more designers like to put the shared space in the atrium because the atrium is the hub of the building space. I think. And the heat, the, the height separated the space. And the, the lobby, any space you want users to stay, need a space belonging, no one will be willing to stick in the center of the square, like this. You will be feel uncomfortable in the space. But you use some small design, like the change of the ceiling and the light. You can feel the difference. <coughs> and then you will find your space <coughs> and you will feel comfortable in the space. The state and the traffic space are divided. This is the also method used now. Use the ceiling and the flooring change to divide the space. So that you, you may not feel uh, feel much, try to remove the segment from the ceiling. You will find the space become messy, and you will feel uncomfortable because you, uh, when you communicate with your friend or others in the space, you uh, feel uh, anyone 
you know, be interact you. And here is no segment. But if you add this, you will find your space and you can communicate in the space uh, comfortable. But this also use the same way to separate the space. It's in a corner. Like this. If you add this, you will feel this space is given to you to uh, communication with others. Here is also a lot of method used in open space. The stairs are not only a channel up and down, but also a shared space to increase the access accessibility of different space. So, the open office has a lot of advantage, but in recent years, open office has caused some negative discussion. One of the most discussion is that the open office has no defense of noise level, and it's difficult for people to concentrate on their work. This is a Chinese Open office, more, uh, more people like because we can function, share each other. But the result is the energy, the noise. For office staff, taking two at the same time require computer or part of the work, especially for designers. And the BBC has imposed. Uh, compared with the closed office, the productivity of open office will reduce. If you are interrupted by noise, it will take 20 minutes to return to the focus state, and open office will affect the work that requires privacy, like lawyer, uh, finance, etc. So, for most designers, we can handle acoustic design through so three methods, which we call A, B, C. A represents uh, sound absorption. Sound is a kind of energy. We need to absorb extra sound and energy. Here is a very important preliminary here. Uh, reverberation time. It will discovered by a lecturer at the Harvard in 1900. And his name is Tsai Bing, and he blamed the condition of modern architecture of this thing. The reverberation time is the time to reduce the sound by 16 dB after the stop. You can also understand as the echo. Uh, we can listen to the difference between the reverberation time of 0.5 and 0.26 and, and 2 seconds. Welcome to our start to see the reverberation time test. I'll try to type in the current jump. Welcome to Armstrong Ceiling Reverberation Time Test. This is two. Welcome to Armstrong Ceiling Reverberation Time Test. So this is point of five. Uh, you can feel the difference. Uh, in conference room, you should uh, need a uh, better communication and language clarity. <clears throat> That is, that is different in music space. Let's feel the difference. This point five. This two second one.
and you can feel the difference. The reverberation time is not the shorter the better. For the music space, a longer reverberation time can make the music more beautiful. So, different space require different re reverberation time. And we can show you a bit. Didn't really speak up what we want to reach Just a gossip. Let me introduce you to the lawbreakers. Let me show you the revolutionaries. Can we not speak of what we want to reach? Love is like God and representation of music. Is a new moment to forgive music At least to make me feel better But I will never forget that I am wrong This can be a good delay To make my last words stay This can be a best trigger To make my last words longer I don't wanna leave you alone You will always be my
BC block and so there's this Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Oh, the the B represent sound insulation, which is often made in the current project. Many owners complain uh, complain to me that they were inter inter interrupted by the uh, sound in the meeting room when when they are working, and the problem of open office space is a, is very prominent. Clock is a system problem. A small gap will affect the sound insulation performance of the entire space. And here is a little question. So what is the current answer to 16 dB plus 16 dB. If you were saying 16 plus 16, um, 120? No, the answer is 16 
3 dB because the acoustic pressure range that the human ears can hear is very, very large. So we use the logarithm, represent them. So you can <coughs> add it uh, simply. This is a small knowledge. And therefore, if we do 3 dB, the energy has been half. And if we do 5 dB, you can clearly feel the sound energy has been greatly reduced. And the thick cover, we can see a picture. From the picture, we can see that for mother and daughter, uh, they can communicate normally. But after opening the tap, communication becomes difficult. And the sound of the water cover the voice. This is the sound cover. <coughs> Here is a professional term called SMR, which represents the difference between signal sound and noise. The larger the larger the difference, the clearer the sound, we can feel it. Dixie, 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 60 feet. Hello, Tom. Um, I want to talk to you about the, your question on weightlifting and uh, using um, lighter weights. Hello, Tom. I want to talk to you about the, your question on weightlifting and uh, using um, lighter weights. So, uh, when the space in our privacy, such as some important information like lawyer, finance company, I mean, they do not need a good clarity. They need their, their information and don't be feared by others. So at this time, they need some cover. And when design the some cover, you need to consider balance and a reasonable petition idea, uh, spectrum and right, right volume. And if you consider, um, the, uh, consider the acoustic and you can make the space more comfortable and the excellent acoustic design cannot make the space more comfortable but also more beautiful. This is some out of our project here. We can see the uh, different things that they their own mind by acoustic material. And this is project of our Reporting here. At the same time, you can also add some natural elements to make the space more energetic. And this is the basketball shape of the restaurant and the butterfly shape of the classroom. This can make the space more interesting. And use the pattern of feelings to create the feeling of forest and a cloud. This is another feeling of cloud. So, after share the office, let's see what is different from education. Let's take a look at the comparison of traditional education space and the new education space. Uh, this is the traditional uh, classroom layout of many schools in China. I don't know well, what is the situation in Malaysia. And this is a trend of the new classroom. Uh, we can see the difference. The difference is flexible uh, table and chair, indoor sound absorption material. The traditional classroom table and chairs are thick. Uh, you can move move them, and they all surrounded by a hard material. The language clarity is not high, uh, especially the students in the back. You are not able to hear the teacher clearly. 
and this is additional canteen. And this is the train of milk. The traditional canteen is single and the environment is noisy. Children and teachers cannot communicate well while dining. And besides this, if, you, if the canteen has a good acoustic situation, you can use it not only canteen, but the other space, like the lion and the others. And this is traditional library. And this is a train of new library. Traditional library are boring and do not have a good acoustic environment, which is easily interrupted by other noise. So uh, we can watch a video. How does Google Trader think of acoustic problem in education space? We all care deeply about education. It defines the future. But when we discuss how to improve it, we tend to focus only on the sending. How good is the curriculum? How good are the teachers? We completely ignore the receiving. Can the students hear what's being taught? The shocking truth is that millions of children leave their education every year having simply not heard one of four spoken words. Children are left to their own devices when it comes to the vital life skill of listening. This wouldn't matter so much if every classroom were fit for purpose, if every student enjoyed perfect reception of speech. Sadly, that is not the case. The key is speech to noise ratio. If the background noise is too loud, students simply can't hear what they're being taught. This is true for all, though the effects are particularly severe for students with hearing impairment, those learning in a second language, or those with learning challenges like ADHD. Noise also creates stress, so it's no surprise that educators commonly rank vocal fatigue and classroom noise amongst their top challenges. All right, class, all right. The key to solving the problem is better classroom acoustics. If we block out noise from outside and from neighboring classrooms, we start from a good place. Then, for maximum speech intelligibility, we need to absorb sound so that unwanted reflections don't impair clarity. And at the same time, the whole room gets quieter, tilting the speech-to-noise ratio in the teacher's favor. Acoustic ceilings that both absorb and block sound can make all the difference in achieving this. Total acoustic ceiling panels combine efficient absorption with effective blocking. The cost is a minimal upgrade over the life of the ceiling and the payoff is clear day by day, student by student, year by year. A simple solution and a modest cost and yet the results could be a transformation in our educational outcomes. One where all the children receive all the education we owe them. How would that change the future.
It's okay. Okay. We can see that some students can hear the teacher's lecture and in a bad acoustic environment, uh, they will miss the word. So we need a better acoustic environment, shorter reverberation time and a low background noise level in the classroom because this can provide better language clarity. Of course, in addition to classroom, there are many other spaces in current school. Different spaces also need to have their own beautiful reverberation time. This is comparison of acoustic standard of China and uh, America classroom. For ordinary classroom, Chinese uh, China's requirement are 0 0.8 seconds and USA is 0 0.6. We can see that Chinese standard will be more loose and there will be more classroom that meets the requirement. But it's really in order to find the a result and explore the classroom sound environment situation in China. I'm strong with Tsinghua Da Jue, uh, Tongji University, Hanan Li Gong University, and Chongqing University conduct a good test on 100 schools across the country. We found that 57% of the classroom background noise don't meet the standard and the 69% of the classroom reverberation time do not meet the standard. But classroom with acoustic ceilings has all meet the requirement. This is because the uh, Chinese classroom acoustic standard are not high. If you consider the acoustic and do something, it will meet the requirement. Unfortunately, many people didn't realize this. And this is a reprovision time, a uh, re renovation video of what? This is before, uh, the left is before and the right is after. We can see the difference. <laughs> Yeah, we only change the ceiling. So may uh, in many classrooms they want to uh, louder their voice, but not consider the reverberation time. So if you use some acoustic material, it can absorb uh, extra energy and it make the voice more clear. And this is an uh, interesting uh, thing. At the same time, we have follow up and compared with student grade, the improvement in English performance is significant because language subjects are better accepted and digested in a good acoustic environment. And the current education space has become more and more diversified. In addition to classroom, there are many different spaces which this requires us to have a richer space knowledge to design this space so that this space can not only satisfy the vision, uh, but also meet the acoustic. The acoustic design on campus is generally divided into two categories. One is to eliminate unfavorite noise, such as noise from the road, noise from the next door, and controlled RT. 
And another one is to improve the sound quality of the room through choice the surface material of the room, the size and the shape of the room. And this will impact the final acoustic environment. After education, let's see the next care. The first picture, how does the hospital sound? This is the situation in China. You can see it's very noisy. And not only in China, hospitals around the world are all in a high noise environment. The current situation of the hospital sound environment is terrible. You can see uh, the time is 17 dB, 72 dB, and the late time, late time is 16 dB. And the world care recommendation is 30 to 40. So the situation is terrible. And there are two main people in the hospital. One is the patient. The patient needs a virtual environment to recover. Uh, if you uh, want to have a rest, the med medium machine around you, like, you make the noise like dee, 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 dee. This noise will remind your body to, uh, to wake up. And very dangerous, you should wake up. So you can't have a good rest in this situation. And the patient also need a privacy environment to treatment. A good hospital sound environment can help patients improve sleep quality, reduce the hurts, and in addition, it also can protect the privacy. And for doctors, this is where they work every day, but the noise environment will increase their pressure. A good hospital sound environment can help doctor reduce stress, reduce medical uh, errors, and uh, reduce vocal fatigue. This is a case of reconstruction of our hospital. This is from China City. We carry out a good renovation of the inpatient department, tested the acoustic state and collect subjective uh, questionnaire surveys. In order to ensure the fact, this is a test uh, sound within one day from um, 10 o'clock to eight uh, 6 o'clock. The orange line, you can see this is before. The blue line is after. You can see the difference. And you can see the noise has decreased uh, uh, significantly. And after the renovation, at the time, at the same time, a doctor, nurse, and the patient has have expressed partially and more comfortably. Mm, we want to have a break. Up to. Okay. Okay, let's have a break. One minute. Okay, let's continue. Now, uh, let me take a look at the first part, the impact of acoustic on sustainable. I think there is uh, three aspects of acoustic unsustainable material, base, and uh, hair, hairs. The first is the material. Many acoustic materials are actually sustainable material. Uh, for example, there are, this is our uh, company's um, product, minor fiber. There are four kinds kind 
of raw material of our minor fiber, minor wood and pellet, starch and newspaper, with both. So all of them are green and environmentally and friendly, and it, it can be recovered and used. In addition, we also use green en energy. The roof of the factory, the roof of the factory, use solar, solar power generation, which will also extend the power generation, which will also extend energy in the future. Uh, in response to the green nature of, of our raw material and energy, coupled with our technology, our product has have obtained a lot of green and sustainable satisfaction, include the German Blue Angel satisfaction, bronze A plus satisfaction, and so on. So uh, another is acoustic on sustainability. I think the third second part is space. So there is two picture, and if you can choose which meeting room we prefer to use. And a conference room with a good acoustic environment will use it for a long time and people will feel comfortable in this space. And if the space has a bad sound insulation and the language clarity is not good, then we may not be uh, like to stay in the space. And, and also we will also want to transform this, uh, this space. And in addition, if we have good acoustic treatment of multifunctional space. A space can take on many functions, such as boat event, opening a ceremony, literature performance, and uh, academic report. So we don't need to build three or two space, only one. So this is also a kind of sustainable. The third part is healthy. We have 19% of our time spent indoors. So the indoor environment is very important for our health. If the building has a good acoustic environment, it can help the health of the per personnel inside the building and can release the attention to the building. This is also a sustainable in my opinion. And the last one is our approved Nelson surveys. Many designers ask me uh, why we want to participate in the early stage in the project. But this is because uh, of many times when in the material stage it's too late to deal with the uh, deal with and transform when everything is uh, okay. Uh, then we want we we enter and try to innovation. The the result is not 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 so good, and so we want to participate earlier in the project and offer some suggestions to the owners. We will provide many designer scopes like acoustic design and then acoustic tips and data reports and so on. When we offer a good result, we the the project is to first perform a acoustic assessment of space, just like those doctor uh, diagnosing judge whether there are acoustic problems in the space and which kind of acoustic problem exists. Like like the the space the the space need voice privacy or need a low RT or sound masking and others. And this is more and more popular in, um, in the world. Some projects need to be leader and well satisfaction. We can also provide a good announcement about that. Uh, in Singapore, it's the green mark satisfaction and the green star. And uh, in Germany, it's DGNB. In UK, it's green. And in America, it's, it's well and lead.
after confirm the problem, we will perform software accumulate calculation based on the standard. If you the if, if the building is to so the uh, American standard, we use the American standard. If you, the building is to so, uh, Germany uh, Germany standard, we we use the Germany standard. Finally, we find the acoustic material location and the area and the insulation method. In order to prove our design, we will also conduct a cruise test before and after the transformation. So the instrument we test is the most professional in the field of architecture acoustics. It's a smart PK test instrument. So of course, they will only share the office, education, healthcare, and there are many other space need a food such as factory and hotel and restaurants or shopping mall and in the last sentence a food may face more comfortable or welcome every, everyone to conduct a food problem in the future okay thank you for your time Uh, thank you very much, uh, our speaker, uh, Mr. Chang, uh, Frankie Chang. So, uh, we have to open to the floor. Uh, any uh, questions or any uh, interested uh, query you want to ask to our speaker? So if anything interested, you may uh, approach uh, Mr. Frankie later on. Uh, so so we are welcome for uh, NG Gore to having a product briefing on this uh, material. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, before I actually started some of the, you know, um, the material, the uh, introduction briefing, uh, any question again for Frankie? Anything? No, all right. Okay, so yeah, basically we are talking about ceiling solution here. And uh, one thing for very important is not talking about one type of material. We have multi-materials selection um, in our ceiling solution uh, provide for, for what we are going to provide. So of course, we are talking about not only acoustical, and but also sustainable material, right? And we have from uh, mineral, we have metal, we have firework, we have we have a few more, which I'm going to just have a brief to every one of you. First, but definitely is a very important one. The core um, products that we have been mentioning since the beginning of the seminar, mineral fiber or mineral acoustic ceiling tiles or mineral ceiling tiles, whatever you like the core, right? So this is talking about the um, uh, noise, Absorption and also noise attenuation product in one, basically, we are talking about, right? And of course, we can always see this product in most of the offices, most of the um, uh, schools, maybe in Malaysia, it'll be most of the private schools. And uh, what factories? Yeah, I just mentioned to um, some of y'all that in Penang itself, I think the most we have been supply or share the experience together will be the factories project, right? So, and where you can see, these are some of the range that available. Of course, um, looking at the appearance, you can always to uh, share, it, share what is your project requirement. I guess this is very important to know what is the sound absorption or any reverberation time that you wanted to achieve for your spaces. That is a very important aspect, of course. And also, all the material itself, it will actually provide you the data of, for example, uh, recycled content, 
light reflectance, which is also an important aspect to contribute uh, under the sustainability, right? All right. And yes, we also have metal, metal ceiling, or we simply call it metal ceiling here. Um, it can be steel, it can be aluminium, it can be, you know, lay in buffer or clip in cell ceiling, um, different kind of system. And why we do not why we wanted to provide so many systems here is because of we can understand that the design may not be um one design may not be going to you know use only one system. You may have combination, especially when metal ceiling can be a very uh, flexible kind of materials to be designed in your project, right? Um uh, a fancy one, customization. Yes, it can be done. And what we will do is we will advise and we will share what is the most appropriate material thickness to be used, right? Okay, wood wool solution. This is a very interesting product and uh, we hope that you can actually know more. Uh, later, we have samples outside. You may take a look. This is actually a wood wool product. Our product is actually made by 100% recyclable material, wood chips. And uh, it's actually a FSC certified uh, um, material. So it can be a very flexible material as well. Okay, yeah. It can be a very flexible material and also quite similar to wood solution. Wood solution will be a um, bamboo material, okay, or a wood laminate material. So NRC definitely is there, which is noise reduction coefficient, sound absorption. And uh, you can apply different colors. You can actually use different kind of, um, you know, shapes if you want to. Uh, here, probably I can share more. Um, we have getting more design trend of open ceiling, for example, right? And uh, when we're talking about open ceiling, acoustic will always have very important things that we need to we are we are get challenging to. So this is one of the um uh projects in one of the country, and this is a basement car park. It's a basement car park. So the wood wood is actually these are all wood wood actually what you can see in the ceiling. Uh, you won't feel like it's a ceiling, isn't it? You won't feel like it's a wood wood, but it has to be installed. So the the wall also they actually install on the wall itself, uh, not only to having a good reverberation time or less noise in the car park itself, but also the wall itself, it can actually act as a very good impact in a way, and also to cover whatever that's going to, you know, happen at the back of the four wall. Okay. And these are actually offices also because of the concept was originally open ceiling. And however, acoustic is actually considered. So that's where you can see how we can actually make use of this material. And we will provide the solutions on installation itself. Install the ceiling here. Okay. So um, come to, this is actually a continuous, which is a system solution. We can provide the board, but I cannot just give you the board and let's install it. So all the solutions, all the panels will come with the solutions where we will actually tell or, or share with you all what kind of system grids to be used, ceiling grids to be used or for different um, designs and also different environment. Right. For example, some of your area may be required aluminum grid because of, um, you know, you have some kind of like anti-rust kind of environment or even industrial grid here, uh, we're actually referring to data center grid. Maybe you have data center and we do have the full system, right? To cater for data center hall. This is for data center hall. Of course, for other grids that you can see here, pick from Prelude, pick from Superfi, this is basically different um, profile, different profile of the grid that you can actually combine to the different types of house that you're going to use. 
Okay. And other than those, we also have the um, products that probably fit to interior fit out. These are very flexible and very, um, I, I would say very flexible and uh, designable product, right? So soft material, for example, um, uh, we were just talking about soundscapes, canopies or soundscape shapes, for example. For example, this making room itself, we need some acoustic ceilings, but you do not want it to have a big renovation. There's a few pieces in the middle where you already have a ready space. <laughs> okay, so this is something that we actually wanted to provide to, to especially the end users where they already have their completed building, but only they realize I have acoustic problem in my office. Right, so yeah, this is something that um, we can also always provide the um the uh, solutions. All right, so of course, whatever kind of material it is, um, like what Fanky mentioned just now, any product can fit in any kind of uh spaces, office, education, even retail. Yes, um, and uh, not forgetting about even our. You know, healthcare, transport, transport, it can be a airport, train station, all right? Uh, just share a little bit of the so-called a project that uh, proudly supplied last year, okay? Right, so this is actually the exchange TRX, Kuala Lumpur. Anyone been there yet? No? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay, please look up when you want what you do the more, right? So, uh, this one is at the ground floor, yeah? The ground floor. Ground floor, yeah. So, when you enter to the ground floor, you will actually see the buffalo ceiling around the wall, right? So, these are actually a, um, a uh, hard work from TSI, from the distributor, which uh, we actually communicate since many years ago, since design uh, stage. And um, every piece of the buffers, mostly different sizes. Okay, so a lot of communication, coordination work has to be done. Okay, and car park, um, basement car park, every car park entrance, that's, they call it welcome hall, and in front is actually all the itself ceiling. Okay, um, actually this is a very nice one. You can just, um, you, you can just take a look when you actually, after park your car park, okay, you can see this. This one is at the first floor, beauty precinct. Yeah, anyway, you were just um, in the middle of the mall itself. You will see this this one. Which one is the pointer? Okay. Not the round one, yeah, but the ceiling on top, right? <laughs> okay, on the ceiling on top. Those are actually the um, metal ceiling as well with the micro perforation, okay? So, and also, uh, we do have some termination has been proposed uh, every column and also the round corner at the back at the at the near to next to the wall. So these are the um, designs has been given and we propose a solution for them based on the requirement and also the uh, specification request by the by the clients and the designers. Okay, and um, there's another one which is, at the third floor, um, uh, when you go to the top floor, the entire ceiling, including the wall um, panels, those are all the customization ceilings, okay? So this is also a, um, a um, system which actually we have been um, proposed according to their requirement itself, all right? Okay, so... Uh, this is one of the project that actually we have been sub supplied last year uh, after years of yeah, coordination work. And probably another one that to share uh, with you all. Um, this one I actually getting from one of the uh, uh, video from, from one of the YouTubers anyway. So this is actually the um, MRT station. So why TRX and MRT? I guess these are most of the solutions, so-called, we have been 
you know, coordinating with the clients and it has been a successful one. Okay, chance, uh, sorry. Okay, I keep very... Okay, so Chan Saolin, this is, this is one of the station, Chan Saolin, and uh, you can see the, the essentially the combination of um, combination of the um, fit in filling and also the buffer ceiling and all the colors actually has been designed by the clients and we actually need to match the client to them accordingly, all right? So yeah, and all the fit in ceiling itself, as you can see, it's non-continuous, not wall-to-wall. Wall-to-wall ceiling for a train station may be boring, but anyway, these are actually based on the design and uh, of course the termination, um, we have to come up with the solutions to, to you know, to terminate these ceilings. All right, so. Yeah. Okay, uh, and this one is actually near the entrance. Uh, orange color, orange color of the um, metal ceiling. Okay, and oh, just one, this one is from me, sorry. Uh. Okay, this one is Chan Saolin. Chan Saolin one also similar, but uh, there's one central piece of ceiling. Uh, in fact, it's actually requ required to be staggered. Required to be staggered. So also with different colors and um we need to we, we actually was we, we was actually um uh, coordinating with the uh client come up even with all the um uh, uh installation drawing uh work very closely with the installer to complete this job. All right. Okay. So basically these are a few that um um yeah project reference that it has been um successfully delivered using the solutions or the experience that we have right right any questions so far okay um yes any question yes yes Okay, I will leave this answer to Frankie. Expert, expert, yeah. How to improve this horse, this definition? Uh, first, we we can we can use the uh we can we can use the standard to uh to this room. How is the uh the suit work? the suitable RT time for the for the conference room and I uh, after I calculate I will prefer some some area uh, like the some landscape on the ceilings and uh, the the acoustic uh, acoustic panels after the back it will solve the problem and make the voice more clearly and comfortable yeah Uh, different uh, space has a different RT. This should be uh, uh, referred to the standard. Yeah.
I I I can get in the acoustic. Uh, acoustic. Uh, the the first we can calculate the here here here. I I can teach you a method. Uh. I can feel the conference room RT is uh, one second to one point two second. If the if you if the conference room RT uh, reach uh, point seven or point six, it will be great. Thank you. Next question, distributor. Please talk to Pam Norton chapter. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I guess that will be a, you know, more to come, you know, on the collaboration, whether um, on the experience sharing or what kind of um, solutions that we can actually propose, I'm sure. And uh, for product-wise, it's just a very brief that I can, I, I will go through. Otherwise, I talk three days, three nights, I also cannot finish. HelloSealingSolution.com, that is actually our official website. And uh, for the project reference, or we were trying to share some of the um, uh, uh, project case studies or even some of the, you know, the pictures or the completion stories. So that will be on our Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, Facebook will be, you will see more for the Asia's projects. And uh, LinkedIn, the one that you can see is basically our Canal Ceiling Solutions Global. So you can also see more from, especially from... Um, uh, Europe, okay, for example, or even um, uh, India. So this is is where you can always take a look. Uh, only Malaysia project, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Clarence from TSI Trading. We are the uh, exclusive partnership with Kano Ceiling Solution. So if you want to see more about a Malaysia project case study about varieties of the ceiling application. Actually, you can go to TSI Trading web website. So uh, we can explain all the system we apply. We have a few uh, established projects like MRT Underground Station, uh, Chan Saolin, Conley. And last year, we did a complete, the biggest job is the Exchange Mall. Uh, you can see when you go to the Exchange 106, the shopping mall, the metal ceiling and all the customized ceiling actually is from our side and also use a lot of metal uh, metal works buffers so uh, actually the thumb drive you guys receive here is all the soft copy of the product range that covered by the kernel ceiling solutions we didn't give any hard copy but at least that you can go through the soft copy and you can share to your colleagues and you can upload to your cloud so if you need any technical support in terms of drawing and also like acoustic advice you can go through me and i'm traveling home malaysia and i quite often come to Penang. So just give me a call and let me know what is the info you guys need. Thank you.